Hey everyone, it's Ms. Spencer. Today we'll be multiplying two digit by one digit whole numbers with no regrouping. The objective for today is students will be able to multiply two digit by one digit whole numbers with no regrouping. Let's quickly review multiplication. We know multiplication is finding the total amount of objects in a set amount of groups when there's an equal amount of objects in each group. So for example, here we have four times three. That means we have four groups with three objects in each group. So here these circles represent four groups and we're gonna put three triangles in each group. So that's three, six, nine, 12. Four groups of three equals 12, which means four times three equals 12. Let's try a two digit by one digit multiplication sentence. Here we have 12 times three. When we are multiplying, each number in a multiplication sentence is known as a factor. So 12 is one factor and three is the second factor. The first step is to line up the factors vertically, which means one on top of the other. Notice we put the two atop of the three because they're both in the ones place. So we make sure that we line up the ones place. Now we're gonna multiply the ones place in the bottom factor by the ones place in the top factor. So the three is the one is in the ones place in the bottom factor, and the two is in the ones place in the top factor. So three ones times two ones equals six ones, which is why the six is going in the ones place. The next step is to multiply the ones place in the bottom factor by the tens place in the top factor. So we're gonna multiply three ones times one ten, since the one is in the tens place. Well, three ones times one ten equals three tens, which is why the three is in the tens place in our answer. So 12 times three equals 36. Now let's try 43 times two. First, we're gonna line the factors up vertically, which means one on top of the other. Make sure to line up the ones place. Next, we're gonna multiply the ones place in the bottom factor by the ones place in the top factor. So the two is in the ones place in the bottom factor, and the three is in the ones place in the top factor. Two ones times three ones equals six ones, which is why the six is in the ones place. Finally, we're gonna multiply the ones place in the bottom factor by the tens place in the top factor. So we're gonna be multiplying two ones times four tens. Two ones times four tens is eight tens, which is why the eight is in the tens place in our answer. Our answer to 43 times two is 86. Let's do one more together. Here we have 21 times four. First, we're gonna line the factors up vertically, which means one on top of the other, making sure to line up the ones place. Now we're gonna multiply the ones place in the bottom factor by the ones place in the top factor. Four ones times one one equals four ones, which is why the four is in the ones place. Finally, we're going to multiply the ones place in the bottom factor, which is four, by the tens place in the top factor, which is two, because the two is in the tens place. So we're multiplying four ones times two tens, which equals eight tens. So we're putting the eight in the tens place in our answer or our product. 21 times four equals 84.